Today, we're here to retrofit a Max Air 500 into a multi-flow tank. Uh, I had the tank pumped yesterday, and today there should be enough water in the tank to get the system to where we can get the, the, multi, or the Max Air 500 put in and take the multi-flow unit that has gone bad out. Here's some of the parts we'll need to do the retrofitting. Voltage meter, grease for the wire nuts and wire, wire nuts, wire strippers, black tape, cord to let the Max Air 500 down in the tank with. We will also need the Max Air 500, which does not ship with the legs attached. You will have to thread the legs in to put it in the unit to be a complete and attached. First step is you remove the lid, top lid, move it out of your work area away. Then you go to the junction box lid Move the little lid where the wiring's done at. Move that lid. Next step would be make sure you have power shut off to your wires so you do not uh, get shocked. As on my system here, the wires are marked one for the multi-flow alarm, the other for the multi-flow unit. Uh, your system may not be marked, so you will need to check which one's for which and mark them before you disconnect everything to make it a lot simpler for you on reconnecting and figuring out which is which. Remove the inner lid, place out of your way. Now with the wires disconnected from the multi-flow, pull the wire cord through the junction box. You'll also pull it through the wire connecting hole down in the riser. There's an air hose that has to be disconnected with a threaded coupler. Unthread the coupler, regular union. Pull the aerator, multi-flow aerator up out of the unit then. Now with the old unit out, new pipe threaded on to the new unit, attach your nylon cord for letting the new Max Air 500 down into the tank. So you do not have to pull on an electrical cord. You can lower it with this here cord. Then when lowering it, also make sure that the tank has got water in it. I'd pumped my tank yesterday, so it has water, a day's worth of water, which is enough to get the unit submersed under the water like it needs to be for everything to work correctly. With the unit in place, you can take your electrical cord, run it through your conduit in the lower riser and up through the junction box. Now you're ready to reconnect your electrical. First start with putting a little grease on each wire connection. Take your wire nuts, wire connections. Put it all back inside your junction box. Put your lid back on. Then you can connect your air hose for the Max Air 500. Now everything is done with the installation. All you have to do is go back in the house, turn the breaker on, and everything will be up and working. 